meet 30-year-old Sylvia Pipra, a graduate of the University of Education, Winneba, who graduated with a second-class lower degree in Bachelor of Education in Community-Based Rehabilitation and Disability Studies. Sylvia initially pursued a diploma in the same university, giving her an upper hand for her degree. As a result of her condition of being deaf and blind, Sylvia's only mode of communication is through touching, as she cannot see nor hear. The university provided her with an interpreter who aided her to communicate with her lecturers throughout her stay on campus. But along the line, Sylvia was hit hard with the presence of COVID-19 in the country, where the Ghana Health Service directed that persons should avoid touching or getting into contact with other persons. But the university had to come in with a plan where persons who wish to communicate with her must sanitize their hands thoroughly before communicating with her. Despite the challenges she encountered in pursuit of higher education, Sylvia has graduated with a second-class honors degree and spoke to City News about her achievements. Traveling in and out, um, getting manuals to study, um, getting the paper that I used to type, like the braille paper and other things, was very challenging. Another challenge was interpreting services. The classrooms are upstairs, so I try as much as possible, and then the interpreters and then the class members also support me, hold my hand, climb the upstairs, and then sometimes, you know, monetary issue becomes difficult. So I get grants and then I take support from the teachers as well. So they support me. Sometimes too, I ask friends and then the church members, and through this media, I was able to overcome those challenges and I had money to buy books and other things. Some other also, others also give me donations. And sometimes the papers that I use to build, build. sometimes it, it delays before it comes, but I have to keep reminding, reminding them before I get those things. I, I tried to overcome all these things and I'm fine now. The government needs to focus more on the disabled community. It's a must for the government to do that. A lecturer at the Department of Special Education, who is also a coordinator for students with special needs at the university, Gifty Nanaya Roxon, highlighted some initial challenges Sylvia faced when she began studying towards her degree with her condition. In 2020, COVID struck. And it came with a 